Hey everyone and welcome to a guide for Kingdom 2 Crowns. This time we're going to be taking a look at the boat, so let's get started. The boat is found at the wharf on every island and spawns before the first portal on a random side of your kingdom, meaning it's generally quite close to your encampment but is sometimes a little further out. You'll find the boat completely destroyed when you first come across it on an island and you'll need to spend gold to rebuild and launch the boat before you can set sail. It costs 10 coins to build the frame of the boat, and then 2 coins for each piece of the hull, which your builders will have to attach. There are 59 pieces of the hull, costing a total of 118 coins, and once they've all been purchased and attached, it costs 2 more coins to launch the boat into the water. Once it's in the water, you can ring the bell at the wharf for 2 coins. This will call some of your troops to board the boat, so they join you on the next island you head to. The boat can fit up to 4 archers, three builders, and three knights or squires with their companies of archers. And it's generally best to fill the boat as much as possible, so that you have a boost to your defences on the island you're travelling to. It's also a good idea to try and have as many coins as possible with you before you set sail. Once you've got everyone on board the boat that you want, you're ready to go, but still need to pay 10 coins to actually set sail. After paying this, you get on the boat while still riding your mount, then any hermits you've unlocked will get on, along with the dog if you've got it. A little message will appear telling you how many days you've played with that monarch and the boat will start sailing. If you don't press any buttons, it will just keep sailing indefinitely, so when you've enjoyed enough of the music, hit a button and the map will appear, giving you the choice of what island you want to travel to. When you board the boat for the first time on an island, it unlocks the option to travel to the next island. For example, boarding the boat on the third island for the first time unlocks the fourth island, but you're also able to travel back to any of the islands you've previously been to. After you've picked a destination, you'll get a little loading screen, and then you'll appear at the wharf on the island you've chosen, alongside everyone who you set sail with, and they'll start heading in the direction of the encampment. The boat will be completely wrecked when you land, presumably because you're not a great sailor, and it'll need rebuilding before you can set sail again. Once you progress through the game a little, and unlock the stone technology, you can destroy portals with your squires or knights. If you destroy the living portal on an island, also known as the dockside portal, you'll be able to build a lighthouse at the dock. It has three levels, wood, stone and iron, costing 6, 12 and 18 coins respectively, and you'll need the stone and iron technologies to be able to build those higher levels. The structure is built automatically, so you don't need builders to run all the way to the edge of the island just to build it. Once built, having a lighthouse allows you to safely sail to that island without your boat being destroyed when you land. Instead, you'll arrive next to the lighthouse at the dock and builders will have to push the boat to the wharf before you can set sail again, saving you a lot of coins on rebuilding the entire boat. Higher level lighthouses will survive for longer before decaying when you're not on an island, giving you a bigger window to return to the island without having to rebuild the boat. Although the boat is quite expensive to build from scratch, costing a total of 142 coins to fully build it, launch it, ring the wharf bell and then set sail, it's much cheaper on the first two islands. On the first island, you don't have to pay for any pieces of the hull, reducing the total cost to set sail to 24 coins and on the second island, you'll get roughly 40 pieces of the hull for free, reducing the total cost to 62 coins. These discounts apply any time you build the boat on these islands, so if you return to the first island without a lighthouse, it will still only cost 24 coins to get the boat built, ring the bell, and set sail. That covers pretty much everything you need to know about the boat, so if you're looking for more tips and guides, then check out some of my other videos, but until then, Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.